Redcliffe is on the Redcliffe Peninsula, about 40 kilometres from the Brisbane CBD. It used to be a place that people would uh, go to for the weekend to, uh, to go to the beach, because for those people that have been to Brisbane would know that you don't go to Brisbane for a beach holiday. You'll go to the Gold Coast for a beach holiday or a Sunshine Coast. But the beaches in Brisbane tend to be mudflats with mangroves. But uh, Redcliffe Peninsula has some of the best beaches in Brisbane, only because the remainder of them are really not swimmable. So um, even though it was a, a holiday type place, uh, it has now uh, come closer to the Brisbane CBD because of the transport infrastructure. In the early days, there was one bridge over Bramble Bay to get to Redcliffe. Uh, and up until recently, there were two. And just in the last uh, six to eight months, a third bridge has been built. Now one of the bridges is so old, it's only used as a pedestrian or cycling bridge, but there are stu still two uh, bridges people can uh, use to uh, get to the CBD. Uh, the other option is uh, to catch a train to Sandgate and then a bus out to Brisbane. But uh, even though Brisbane, uh, even though uh, Redcliffe is a fair way from the city, it is right on the coast, which is one of the big capital growth drivers. So uh, a lot of Redcliffe uh, is uh, is run down. If people were looking to buy in Redcliffe, I'd be looking at uh, proximity to the uh, the sea. As I said before, that's a big capital growth driver. Um, very good facilities. TAFE College, hospital, primary school, high school, so very well catered for so, that, so far as that is concerned. Uh, so a very good spot for investors to uh, look for investment property because the median price is also quite a bit lower than it is for Brisbane. Firstly, one of the reasons investors should look there is uh, it's one of the cheapest Brisbane suburbs. It's a coastal suburb, so it should experience more capital growth than many other Brisbane suburbs. Uh, two very good leading indicators of capital growth is where the public money is being spent and where the private money is being spent. Uh, uh, Redcliffe has been targeted by the state government in particular for expenditure of money as a major activity centre. So uh, you will see some major government projects uh, going on on the Redcliffe Peninsula as a whole, and in particular in Redcliffe and one, one I've already talked about, and that is the bridge, the second bridge, uh, and private money, a lot of private money being spent in the area in the form of apartments. So if you said to somebody in Brisbane 10 years ago, there'll be million dollar apartments selling at Redcliffe, they would have looked at you a bit strangely, but that is the case. And the key to that is the fact that it's on the coast. Plenty of exciting things happening in Redcliffe. Uh, you've got uh, a lot of government expenditure uh, happening in Redcliffe. Uh, in the form of firstly the bridge, which I've already spoken about, the second bridge going over. Uh, also, you've got private money being spent in the area in the form of apartments. Uh, if you said to somebody 10 years ago that there will be million dollar apartments selling in Redcliffe, they would have looked at you a bit strangely, but that is the fact. The other promising thing for me about Redcliffe, and I know many Brisbane people don't consider it as a nice suburb, it, it's got nicknames like Dead Cliff, and it used to have a bad crime problem but those things have been fixed up. The good thing for me is wh when I do my research for top suburbs, I always go and have a look at the suburbs. And I've been to Redcliffe many times. And the promising thing about Redcliffe is I've walked along that esplanade uh, and it goes for one to one and a half kilometers. And the most shops I've ever seen for lease would be two or three. Now there would be hundreds of businesses on that esplanade and to only have two or three shops vacant that's a very good sign that the local economy is doing quite well. And for those people that want to renovate, there are opportunities for renovation in Redcliffe. Firstly, you've got to buy the character type homes and the closer you are to the, uh, the coastline, the better off you're going to be. So the areas to focus on, if you're going to buy in Redcliffe, east of Oxley Avenue, Oxley Avenue is one of the main roads through uh, Redcliffe. So in between Oxley Avenue and the beach, the closer you get to the beach, obviously the more expensive it will be, but you will certainly recoup the benefits in years to come. Uh, also proximity to Sutton Beach. It's like an artificial beach uh, with uh, swimming pools and a very family friendly type beach. Roads to avoid are basically the three main roads in Redcliffe, Oxley Avenue, 
victoria avenue and anzac avenue.